Alright, what is going on everybody? Today we're gonna cover the new meme bow, aka the ghost maker. Essentially, this gun itself is not very viable, and the fact that it is a primary slot choice and not a gadget makes it a little upsetting to not be able to use, because personally, this gun is not viable as a primary weapon. I wouldn't necessarily say you should be running this as a, your next go-to weapon, right? So with the DLC that came out, we basically got one new weapon and a gadget and a primary slot. It does some pretty neat things, and when you do hit some kill feeds with it, it's very satisfying. Not really sure why the AI are dying like this in front of me, but anyways, going through the damage numbers real quick for you guys. The high power arrows here will one shot out to 29 meters. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Let me back up here. 29 meters, he dies. Now 30 meters is 91. Why? So a little interesting too, and as I slowly back up, he loses 60. So at 40 meters, it drops down to 60. Okay, that's pretty much all you need to know for this weapon itself. The bolt rack is just not good, okay? It does basically 65, 60 damage outside of 7 meters. Within 7 meters, it is a 1 hit. So I was 8 meters away. Let's get to 7 here for you. Unit, I, I lied. At unit, 6 meters it doesn't kill. Unit, 5 meters it doesn't kill. It does 90.2 damage. Neat. I, I basically have to barrel stuff here to ball back and kill you in one shot. And the reload benefit to this isn't worth the damage reduction at all. I do not recommend using bolt rack at all. Now, what's interesting about the Exploding tips is no matter what range you're at, you do 37 and a half damage to the person, and then do 100 on the explosion. It's, it's something you can use a little further out than your up close engagements that you would use for the high power, power arrows to make the most benefit with it to kind of get those quick kills and stuff like that. But the explosion itself off of this, there's not a whole lot of splash to it, and as you can see, if I shoot right next to it. It does 95, and that is the max amount of damage it'll do to the player. 95 doesn't even do 100 damage. See what I'm saying? It goes up right underneath the speed, doesn't kill him. So you really gotta, you gotta make sure you hit the player, the game, and they will die. So the entire time that I worked on this crossbow to get a tier one, I didn't hit a single double kill with the explosion. But uh, it is fun to kind of sit back at distance with it. And pick people off. Um, just realize that Dozer is the only person who does not die to the explosive tips in one shot. It actually takes two, and then if he heals a little bit, it'll take three. But I did find the high power arrows to be the most effective while grinding this for tier one. And that's all I really have for you guys in this video, um, description video here in the range for it. Uh, I'll look, go ahead and let the clips roll through so you can kind of see what I hit along with getting this weapon done, as, as you'll notice in the video itself. Basically what I'm doing is I'm playing head glitches, I'm kind of getting flanked, uh, I'm playing a very tight angle peak, not necessarily a pixel peak, but something where I know that someone's going to be coming around that angle, and I'm going to hold the tightest look angle possible, that way I guarantee that I get to shoot first, because if I miss, I have to immediately retreat and reset the arrow, which takes you know a solid second and a half to two seconds to do. So. If you want to get this gun tier 1 because you're a completionist like myself and have all the weapons tier 1 by all means, uh, this is probably the go-to for this. Um, the site that I was running mostly, I switched it off, but I was running it two times. Um, and then if I was doing distance with the explosive rounds, I would use the other Other than that, guys, appreciate y'all again. Um, I'm going to be publishing the BSV video tomorrow as well. Uh, giving you guys their blowouts for that and damage ranges on that and you know, some of the clips and whatnot that I got while I've been using the weapon itself. So, um, also, to everybody out there, happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. And if you like the content, I appreciate the subscribe or a follow on the channel. I stream every day on Twitch. Alright, with that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.
Filthy. Filthy. You're dead. Sitting up here. Behind me again? Get fucked on, dude. Give me that clip. I don't even care. That's fuck. Go away! Oh! No! No! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that! Give me that!